Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to be reacting to PewDiePie unboxing his 100 million subscribers. So let's get into the video. But here it is. Oh! Oh! Before we get to going on this video, here's me. Hello. I have a question. Have you ever bought something online? to then realize you could have gotten it for less. That is literally worse than accidentally killing your dog in Minecraft. Okay, not really, but... Well, to be honest, PewDiePie started as a very tender year. He started 20... 2010 or 29. I don't really know about PewDiePie, but he has really tried to reach 100,000. 100 million subscribers, so let's continue the video. Sorry about Luckily, that. I discovered Honey. Honey is a free browser extension that lets you save money online. The way Honey works is that it scans the internet for coupon codes whenever you check out, and just like Unicorn Wizard Magic, it puts it out and saves you money. Amazing. Honey literally knows about every single coupon code there is. You know those weirdos at the mall with all those coupon codes? That's Honey. Imagine having an army of those working for you, for free, bruh, that's Honey. Honey knows about over 20,000 websites, such as Amazon, Alibaba, GameStop, you're a gamer, Razer, it works on Razer, when you buy your PewDiePie headphones, Honey will save you money, and you don't have to do anything extra. Honey will do all the work for you when you check out, and I gotta say, it feels amazing. It feels almost as good as hitting 100 million subscribers. <laughs> the feeling is actually completely mutual. <laughs> I usually use Honey for Amazon because I buy a lot of dumb stuff for my videos or stuff for my home and uh, it's just nice to save extra money because then I have more money to buy more dumb stuff that I don't need. <laughs> I think it's just a good feeling knowing you're paying the absolute lowest price you can for something. Honey is for everyone and it works for anything you buy online. Go join honey.com slash PewDiePie. I know other YouTubers have promoted Honey, but if you haven't downloaded Honey now, now is the time to do it. It's free. It doesn't cost anything, and it saves you money. Now, why am I getting angry about it? I am literally getting angry about it because it's so easy. It's such a win-win service. You literally can't lose anything well, using it. I'm it takes two right clicks to, to install. Link is in the description. The uploads just... I obviously had big goals. I like to aim at even at big goals, even though they might not be relevant at all. But uh, no, no, I don't want to. I don't want to be famous. But at that time, I was 20 years old. I was living in Sweden in a small flat. I had just moved away from home. I had no idea what I was doing. I just knew I enjoyed it. <laughs> I was also studying at university at the time, industrial economics and management. My calling in life. That's what I want to do. So I decided this YouTube hobby. I'll probably have to set aside because I should probably focus on my finals. So I uploaded a video saying I was going on a break, but in reality, I was I was quitting. This was it for me. Just can't put uh, my hobby in front of uh, that right now. So uh, I'm sure a lot of you, I'm sure most of you will. Wow, well, PewDiePie was quite young, was around my other age. Me, I started YouTube. Uh, 2018 in October and back then I was quite very young I think 17 and right now I'm 19 years old so the difference you can see back then I didn't know what YouTube was I was also playing covers and I was just mm, I didn't want I wasn't starting YouTube as to make money I was only making YouTube videos for just fun but later I found out that if you want to enjoy YouTube very well, you have to try and make YouTube videos for well for fun one and also to gain back gain more from YouTube. So let's continue the video. I understand that and I'm gonna miss you guys a lot actually. Which was a pretty reasonable choice to make considering I had about five people that actually watched me during this time. <laughs> But luckily, the break didn't last long. I, just a few days later, I was back uploading videos again. I had found what I was actually passionate about, and I wasn't ready to just let it go. I knew that a career in YouTube was so far away. It was more of a myth than 
a dream at this point because people didn't even know if it was possible but it was always at the back of my mind that there was a tiny chance that this could actually happen i was back uploading videos and i tried out this new horror game that had just come out called amnesia and it was scarier than anything that it didn't even compare <sighs> welcome back and the top comment of this video really says it it, it is what started it all for me at least I wasn't popular as soon as I played Amnesia, but for the first time, the five people that watched my videos, they really enjoyed it, and I could tell I was onto something. And this wasn't just new for me, it was a new thing on YouTube as well. And I had never played horror games before. It was genuinely horrible. <laughs> I made montages and compilations of the best moments, where it's really just me screaming. They're kind of loud. They're kind of obnoxious, but they got a charm to them. <laughs> Eventually, I had grown a thousand subscribers, but it was also clear I had grown an audience that really cared about me. I used to be an introvert, and but YouTube really helped me open up because on the other side, there was people that really appreciated the side of me that I didn't show to anyone. At this point, I had completely failed school. I'm sorry, mom and dad. <laughs> my passion was somewhere else, and I famously started selling hot dogs to sustain myself. But I look back at this time with great memories because I was finally pursuing my goal, my dream. Not selling hot dogs, but making videos in my spare time, that is. <laughs> at this time, I managed to meet a girl online who later became my wife. I won't bore you with every step of the way of the journey. It, it's been long. It had its ups and downs. <laughs> I made a lot of mistakes on the way, but I've grown. I feel like I have at least. And I feel like I've finally come in terms with the responsibility I have as a creator. About 100 million subs too late, but you know. <laughs> but the channel's done a lot of good too. A lot of things I'm truly proud of. We literally raised millions of dollars to charity. Well, PewDiePie, PewDiePie, PewDiePie. This is the first time I'm actually hearing from PewDiePie. I haven't subscribed to his channel. My bad. Because I'm new to YouTube. I don't know what's going on in YouTube. So don't attack me if I've not subscribed to PewDiePie. And um, T Series, on the other hand, is Indian movies. But I later found out that T Series is now ahead of PewDiePie. Well, I think PewDiePie is saying he doesn't want to grow more subscribers. That he's, a, he's okay with the one he has. So I, that's why T Series is now beating PewDiePie. But I would love PewDiePie to be one more ahead of, on top of T Series. So let's continue the video. I hope this video does not. YouTube does not put a strike on it I'm just trying to create yeah do some reactions to some videos and right now I'm using the my yeah here is very cold and the place is night has come that's why I'm whispering so let's continue the video there it is and I'm really proud of my audience for helping me do that Looking back at myself in that flight in Sweden is a very surreal experience. I would never, ever have imagined this outcome. Beyond my wildest dreams came true. Ten times over, a hundred times over. I'm nine years older now, still awkward as fuck, but I finally got confidence in myself. And I'm really proud of who I am today. And instead of a hundred subs, we hit a hundred million subs. We did it! I want to thank all the people I work with over the past couple years. You know who you are. I want to thank the people I collaborated with. I want to thank all the great friends I met along the way. I want to thank my previous and current editors, Michael, Brian, Saib, 